Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Money Stocks. Today is December 12, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by one and three quarter points. Right now, the futures are sitting at 26.63 and a quarter per contract. All in all, we did have some uh, earlier economic data out. We believe we had the PPI, but you could check that out for yourself. Again, we only care about the market patterns and does it tell us if we can make money buying it or selling it. That's all that really matters to us. So again, right now, futures are just in what we call a sideways trending pattern. And again, uh, really not a whole lot to do ahead of the opening bell. But again, volume yesterday was very, very light. We'll see what the volume is today. Light volume does help the markets trade a little bit higher. But let's take a look at some stocks in the news. That's where we're going to try to focus our attention today. First stock we're going to look at is going to be 3M, ticker symbol MMM. And you're going to see the stock right now is trading at $242.45. This is up from the $239.30 close. So nice little pop there for 3M. The stock still can go a little bit higher here. I wouldn't rule that out. The only problem is it's very long in the tooth already. It's had a great 2017, um, and it has had a great run. So that's my only concern. But other than that, I don't see really any problem. The trend is up. Stock can still go a bit higher, but it is getting a little bit stretched. So if you own a trail, the stop loss. If you don't own it, just leave it alone at this stage of the game. Next up, we're going to take a look at Boeing, ticker symbol BA. Uh, the stock right now is trading at 288.97. So this is up from the 283.16 close. Boeing raised their quarterly dividend by 20%. Nice little pop there for Boeing. This is another stock that right now is very, very stretched overbought long in the tooth but nonetheless it continues to go higher and defies gravity so again uh, Boeing on the move on that raise of the quarterly dividend and we'll see where it goes if you own it trail the stop loss if you don't own it you want to leave it alone at this stage of the game let's take a look here at Activision ATVI this is up on a Goldman Sachs upgrade right now the stock is trading at 64.50 closed at 63.17 I'm gonna give this stock the upside bias to around 65.50 if you own a trail the stop loss if you don't own it wait for pattern in the intraday stock chat room so we'll be looking at the pattern here today we'll see where it goes if we get a bullish pattern this can be bought up to the 65.50 that's ultimately where it does want to go next up let's take a look at Mattel MAT is the ticker symbol here stock right now I I think uh, came out with some weak guidance. Right now, it's trading at fifteen dollars and fifteen cents. I ultimately think we're going to see this stock trade down to fourteen and a quarter. Fourteen and a quarter, though, is where I start to get interested in this name. So again, keep it on the radar today. We'll see how it plays out. We'll cover this in the intraday stock chat room. But again, I do think this is headed down to around fourteen and a quarter. At which point, um, it could be a short-term day trade or even you know a multi-day buy. Uh, so we'll look at it when it gets there, but keep it on the radar today. Let's take a look at CAG, which is Conagra Brands. Stock right now is trading at 37.50. No real volume behind here, so you got to be a little bit careful with that. I ultimately think the stock has upside to around 38.80, possibly $39. I don't see it really going much past that, but either way, um, it is ahead, up ahead of the opening bell on the back of an upgrade, so keep that on the radar today. Next up, let's take a look at Abbott Labs. ABT is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at 55.40. It closed at 54.94. So you got a little bit of an uptick there. This is on the back of an upgrade. Today, you can see we don't have a lot of earnings, just more upgrades and downgrades. And that's typical during a quadruple witching options X in December. So we'll see how this all plays out. Uh, right now, when I look at Abbott, though, stock is still. Um, in an uptrend, it's had a great 2017, so we'll see where it goes. But if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone. We'll look and see if it gives us some kind of a pattern in the intraday stock chat room. And with that being said, if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can check it out, trade right alongside of us. Next up, want to take a look at the gold market. Gold futures trading down $3 right now to $1,243.90 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good gold ETF that tracks the movement that is trading at 11794 closed at 11801 next up we have oil crude oil up 43 cents today to $58.42 a barrel so nice little pop there for oil up about 40 plus cents take a look at the USO you're going to see that's trading at $11.69 up from 11.60 at the close again the USO is a good oil ETF to track the movement 
and crude. With that being said, everybody, we're going to leave it here short and sweet. Once again, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a sensational 2017. We're going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great day, and we will see you on the charts.